All right, so I wanted to uh, <clears throat> show you guys some of the things I've been working on with my CNC. Um, here's a shot of the uh, in enclosure that I created for the for the CNC. Um, I put on this bed, this sacrificial bed here, and put in some um, rails that I can attach stuff to, um, and it really helps with clamping and keeping things square and true. Um, it's attached by these wing nuts that I can kind of quickly turn and take off and I can replace those tops with any sort of jig or or any sort of holding to for the repetitive stuff that that we do so anyway overall I love it um, you can see in the back I put on these uh, little bristles that I found um, that kind of keeps the mess inside and then on the sides I took this uh, quarter inch uh, plexiglass stuff um, and put that around as well. In the back, I kind of, you can kind of see here, I, I just mounted the power supply and, and a couple of the wires so that they're up out of the way as well. So um, just kind of back to this plexiglass, you can see that I've attached some magnets onto um, the extrusions there and then I attached some countersunk some magnets into the plexiglass. And I can just kind of pull it off. It just snaps off and snaps back on. Um, once you get it lined up in place, it just kind of snaps right into place. So I've got uh, three pieces, one for each um, one for each side. Here's the front, and you can kind of see how that snaps into place and, uh, and then comes off. It's really easy, and it, it offers some protection, which is something that I've wanted on my CNC. Um, but anyway, overall it was a good fit. Um, I put a little um, endoscope camera um, on, I created a little mount that I put that on, um, and I use that for locating uh, the zero, and I've got like an offset that I can apply, which is kind of nice. Um, it was surprising just how far off inside of that endoscope camera that the things are as far as square and true. Let me know if you have any thoughts or comments. Um, I'll try and post some more videos as I get a little bit further along here in this uh, DIY CNC machine. But this is a either this machine is made from KR33 um, actuators and uh, clear path uh, stepper motors, which is to me is the best possible um, match for CNC. I have nothing but good things to say about this setup. Um, it uh, definitely is miles ahead of where my Shapoko is at and um, I'm reluctant to build another machine just for fear that I wouldn't be able to match the kind of accuracy and repeatability that this uh, setup offers. It's just wonderful. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.